Two elementary school students were arrested for sending nude photos. I'm talking elementary students. How can this happen? All I know is my grammar school wasn't like that. <laughs> Times have changed, Dr. Orton. Times are changing. What's your thought on this, Dr. Mike? Well, listen, I think that nothing is safe anymore. I think the cloud-based scandal that happened to celebrities has taught us that. I think it doesn't take a smart person to realize that even if you snap, listen, all text can be captured. If you have two phones and somebody takes uh, a snap of your snap, that can be preserved in time, right? So if you're a parent, this is what I tell the parents. I have, a, I have a lot of advice that I give parents in terms of how do we keep our, our kids safe. Um, you know, checking our, our kids' phones, that's become the new normal, right? So in recent research, 60% of parents are checking their kids' social media accounts, and 48% are checking their kids' text messages. So it's which they should be. Which, yeah. which I think it should be 100% yeah. for both. Because literally, I, it's, I, it's, it's your phone. Well, like, yeah. You yeah. bought it, you paid for it. Yeah. This whole story begs the question, how do they get this idea? Yeah. And you know, it makes me wonder, is it something they picked up at home with the parents mm. or older siblings? I think right. celebrities, siblings. people on... Well, celebrities too, but at that age, mm. you know, are they following yes. celebrities that... For yeah. sure. I, I don't know. Age? I mean, I, yeah. have, I have two kids who are elementary school age, and I think sometimes, not, not to throw the older siblings under the bus, but sometimes the kids who have the older siblings are transmitting that information down from That's middle true. school and high school to the elementary school kids, but I don't think kids at that age even realize that transmitting nude photos of themselves is a crime. I mean, that's yeah. child pornography. Yeah. But there are just so many levels of wrong with this. Like, why were they doing nude photos? Why were they on Snapchat? Yeah. I mean, you're not even supposed to be on Snapchat if Agreed. you're under 13. But the great thing is, I think, uh, to your point, Dr. Botcher, there's a lot of new apps that are designed to be age appropriate, and I recommend these to parents all the time. And you can check with your phone service provider um, and download certain apps that are designed for that specific age group. So there are actually apps for eight-year-olds, for 10-year-olds, so that a parent doesn't have to actually be checking your kid's device or your teenager's device every single day. Because as a mom and as a doctor, that's, uh, that's exhausting, right? If you're a working mom, you don't have time to police your kids all day long. But, but at what age do you think they should even have these devices? Like, I guess that's my more nuanced question, because neither of my children have devices or have social media accounts at this point. Well, the cool but... thing, some of these devices, you can set the app filter, and I think this is really cool. The app filter can be set so that you, as the parent, can turn off the app the texting during school time and homework time. You can set the filter, you can block certain phone numbers, so it's all of a sudden, oh, I as a parent, I can text my kid to make sure that they're safe, but they can't be on social media when they should be doing okay. their homework. Okay. All of a sudden, it's the best of both worlds, right? And I think that's sort of cool for yeah. parents. Yeah.